Oh, he is, man. Light on set for the Palmerston. And away in the feature. And early crow in the middle of the line was one of the first to go. Star Magnum's riding for speed and so's Ideas Man. Zurata got away well and Suguso sliding across. Just getting off those to midfield then was Conclave Prince. Lumberpunk gets back in the pack then. Settling well back, Chile Dioro. Well, Spaceship, he's back second last over racing. Kirioth outside him. So at the 800 metre mark, and Pegasus is persevering here on Ideas Man, and he's three quarters in front of Star Magnum. They're going along pretty quick. In third spot, Zurata. A gap of the field then of about five lengths to last year's winner, Early Crow, and he's starting to pick up from Suguso, getting a reminder. Over on the inside, Chile Dioro. Well back, Conclave Prince before the turn from Lumber Punk. Spaceship, the favourites, a mile back. And the last one, Kirioth, as they come around the turn at the three, and Ideas his man. He got a length now on Star Magnum and he goes for the prize. Zurata's out after him and deeper out on the track early. Crow's running on OK. And then just behind him, Chile Dioro and Lumber Punk down the outside. But early Crow, last year's winner, struck the lead from ID's man. Star Magnum, Lumber Punk late, but it's back to back, baby. It's back to back, big time for early Crow and he'll go on the score and win the Palmerston for Sonia Logan. About two on the line. Second will be Lumber Punk. ID's man was game. A gap in the field, Star Magnum spaceship behind those conclave prints. Well back in the field then to Zurada. Chile de Oro. Seguso didn't come into it. And Kirioth, the last one home. It's Early Crow. Well, the winner is Early Crow for the second year in a row. Early Crow becomes the fifth back-to-back -back winner of the Palmerston Sprint. Squire Gray in 91-92. Tally Ho in 96-97. The great Jade City in 07-08. The great Captain Punch in 18-19 and now early Crow goes back to back for Dick Leach last year and Aaron Sweeney and this year it is for Chris Pollard and Sonia Wiseman and Andrew Tool is about to catch up with the winning trainer. Sonia will go over and go by the scales but here's the winning trainer Chris Pollard with Andrew Tool. Chris, you've been, you've been here a long time with a few slow horses, now you've got a good fast one, you've had your biggest winner, what does that mean? Yeah, it was good to have a good horse though. Hey? Uh, he run good, he's a tough little horse, hey? You haven't had him long, uh, obviously, um, with Dick being out and uh, Gary's had him and then they get, uh, you, you've taken him over. Uh, must give you a huge thrill. Yeah, yeah, I've shod the horse for a long time, mate, so I've known him. Yeah, good little horse. Uh, you good drive by Sonia. Ab but absolutely, and your, te your team behind you, mate, uh, you a shout out to them. Yeah, yeah, thanks to all the owners and all the people that ride him, especially Steph, she rides him on his track work, so good. Many congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. Congratulations, a Palmerston sprint to go with your guineas and a derby. Yeah, look, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I missed out on riding the horse last year due to my assault, and um, he came out and win, and I, I didn't get the chance to sit on him, so it's a little bit emotional coming out and winning it today. So. 12, 12 months is a long time, and it's been, it's been tough. Yeah, it has, and um, I'm just honoured to be able to ride a horse like him. And, um, Pollard's been really good to me, so I appreciate it. Well, take us through the run. How are you? How are you feeling during the race? Oh, look, we got a really nice card into the race. Um, we sort of got to the fans, and I just wanted to pop off a little bit. I think fence is a little bit off today, so he's probably sitting one and a half off the whole way, and it just split open for him, and he just got a beautiful run through. And at the finish line, I felt like I could go another 1,400 yeah, metres. Right. He was just cruising, so you can enjoy it more. When you're going to win a long way out. Yeah, that's it. And he's an absolute machine of a horse, you know. To, back it up one year onto the next. It's, it's a hard task for a horse, so really, really proud of him. So where does this sit alongside your derby and your, your guineas, winning a sprint on Cup Week? Look, they're both really special, but I'm going to get emotional again. Um, like I said, I missed out on riding him last... Oh, hold on. I uh, missed out on riding him last year due to the assault, so to come out and win it today is really special. Sorry. You enjoy it. Thank you. Go and enjoy it with all your loved ones. Thank you. Well, Sonia's got every reason to be emotional. She was attacked brutally, uh, really lucky to survive considering what happened to her in an awful attack here in Darwin. And she was uh, able to come back to the saddle and realise another big race win. Yeah, absolutely, Greg. It was a terrible thing which happened to her yeah, 12 months ago, just over, and yeah, she couldn't ride for a couple of days at the carnival. She rode on, yeah, on Cup weekend, but uh, this is, uh, this is hu huge redemption for her. 
and he won like an odds-on favourite today. It was no fluke last year. He was even better this year. He was. He he was super. He's been very well trained by uh, firstly Gary uh, Clark and then Chris Pollard. Uh, Chris is a man of few words, as uh, as we know, but um, this will give him a massive thrill. Now, what about uh, Cup Day coming up on Monday? All the talk is bare stories. Coming off a track record win over a mile, he has to extend that now after his chief ministers to the 2050 of the Darwin Cup. I think the distance is no issue for him. Uh, the, the three weeks between runs, Neil Dyer knows how to do that. He's done it before with Hawks Bay and Royal Request. Uh, so, yeah, he's he's a deserved favourite. He's, he's a short enough, but um, he's the horse to beat. And Neil Dyer, he's been trying forever to win uh, Darwin Cups each and every year. He's won three of them. But how many seconds? Something like six? Six seconds. And as I think we talked about this morning, I think this one, if he can get up on Monday, will give him huge, um, huge pleasure uh, after losing his brother Rod earlier this year. Right. So we've seen a motion from Sonia. I think we'll see equal, if not more, from Neil if he wins on Monday. And he's a deserving favourite. And he's going to be a clear favourite. I think a heavily back favourite by the time we get here. He could be an odds-on favourite, uh, Greg, which uh, I've never seen in my time. Yeah. Um, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, what about the dangers? Peter Robles got an interesting runner who's unbeaten on synthetic, four out of four on the Gold Coast, and unbeaten up here on the dirt, two for two. He's done a good job at Dukin, and he's got the services of Tyler Schiller, one of the best in yeah. the business from Sydney. Uh, drawn awkwardly, he's going to have to go forward. He's a front-running horse, so he'll go forward from that uh, from that gate. Wolfburn, I think if he can get a lovely sit somewhere just off, just behind the speed, I think he's got uh, a devastating finish. Um, and uh, there's a number of other chances, but bare story for mine. Tyler Schiller's riding here on Monday. Craig Newitt, Mark Pegas, he's been here. Uh, Carleen Heffel will be riding. Celine Gordray. Celine Gordry. Craig Newitt. Craig Newitt will be here. Mm. Great lineup. Yeah, great, it's, it's, great visiting uh, contingent. It is, and of course, uh, the king is on the favourite, Noel Callow. Noel Callow is here as well, but he's uh, had a little bit of a sojourn <laughs> he up has. here, hasn't he? He loves it up here. All right, big day coming up Monday. It'll be good, Greg. Looking forward to the coverage. Okay, coming up on Monday. All races, 10 races, are coming up on uh, Sky 1, but the last two races, including the big build-up to the Darwin Cup, will be seen live here on Sky Thoroughbred Central.